have a look at the Exo Business CRM module and some of the powerful customer management features. The CRM module is designed to manage the pre-sales cycle, including opportunity or lead management and even sales into existing customers. First of all, the layout itself. You'll notice MYB Exo Business uses a command centre, which will be familiar to those who are using the current off-the-shelf packages. All of these areas that you see are actually what's called widgets, and we can undock them and move them around and lay them out the way we want. This layout can then be saved, and that becomes my personalised view, and it can be different for everyone using the system. The idea is that we can get all of the key features and functionality that we use on a day-to-day -day basis, you know, possibly even into one screen so we don't have to click around at all. One of the key functions of the CRM module is our opportunity management. Opportunities can be sales into existing customers or even non-customers. On the screen you'll see here at a glance all of the opportunities that we're currently working on and we can use our filters here to show particular opportunities based on various criteria. As a sales manager I can look at all opportunities assigned to my whole team or as an individual sales rep I can have a look at just my opportunities. This screen again can be moved and sorted and is quite customizable and I can arrange it by probability for example to see my most likely to close opportunities down the bottom. You'll also notice some of our dashboard reporting over here where I can see at a glance where our opportunities currently sit both by the dollar value and the num pure number of opportunities within a stage. These reports and dashboards can all be customised and changed to suit your requirements and can show more or less information depending on what you need. Let's drill in and have a look at a particular opportunity. You'll notice an opportunity has a subject, is linked to, in this case, a debtor, but it could be a non-account as well, and has a particular contact person assigned. We can give an opportunity a type. So this could be a sales opportunity or an export opportunity or whatever you like. This is an editable list. So again, with the right permissions, I can go in and set up my types of opportunities for reporting purposes. We can track a lead source. So how did they hear about us? Was there an existing customer or a referral? And then the stage. Now the stage usually is set up to match your existing sales process and the various stages usually have a percent likelihood associated with them. So obviously as an opportunity moves along your sales process, it's more and more likely to close. And we can use that percentage in our reporting. We can also override the probability. So if um, for some reason I have a really good feeling about this opportunity, even though it's unqualified, I can mark it as 90%. And then we can use that in our reports. But also if I go back to the stage and have a look at our list, you notice that there is a default probability which we can lock away from sales rep and we can use that to report on as well. Down here we can put some extensive notes about the opportunity so that we can see them at a glance. But also if we go across to the history notes tab, you'll see here that we can track uh, detailed and, and more structured notes. So here's where, th where we would go to put in a note for every time we contacted them, for example. Over in our activities, we also have an area where you can track uh, activities such as appointments or tasks. And these can be synchronized with your Outlook if you use Microsoft Outlook, which will then in turn, of course, synchronize to your iPhone, iPad, etc. These tasks and appointments can also be classified into a particular type and this is all useful for reporting and keeping track of exactly where we're at with this opportunity, what do we need to do next, what was done last, etc. And these can all be reported on. So again, as a sales manager, you can look at not just your opportunities, but drill down into the tasks area and see what's happening with it right now. Very similar to Outlook, these uh, appointments and tasks have got a, a subject and uh, we can put them in for a particular date or time and set a reminder. Uh, but more than Outlook, we can actually link it to a particular company and contact. So then we have a full history of that. And of course, in this case, it's also linked to an opportunity. Coming back to the main details, we have some other areas that we can track here, such as just an estimated dollar value, a due date for the opportunity, and assign it to a particular sales rep. But down here in the bottom section, we can also add extra fields. So very commonly within CRM, you'll have additional information that you want to track about this opportunity. It might be a product classification or other items that are specific to your industry. 
and we can add those extra fields here in any format. They can be a text box or a drop down or a tick box to make sure that you've done uh, particular actions and, uh, and they can be labeled accordingly. Moving across to our quote area, this is where having a fully integrated CRM system uh, shows its full benefits. When I'm quoting here, I'm actually looking at my live inventory list. So I can search for any item within our inventory. I can see live and up to date information on product availability. And all of the pricing is coming straight out of the system live. So any special pricing or offers will be uh, coming up in my opportunity quote. So there's no chance of getting the price wrong, which is common with systems that are not integrated into your main inventory and financial package. We also have kit functionality. So setting up kits can preload a, a standard sort of template of items, which can then be modified as required. All of this information is then passed straight onto either the sales order or job costing modules. So there's no rekeying of data. So once the sales team puts in a, an opportunity or an opportunity quote, that information is maintained and tracked. And if it's successful, we can then convert it straight across without rekeying into a sales order or a job. Some other functionality within the opportunity is the document storage. We can store any format such as PDF, Excel, Word docs in here. And we also have a great feature where we can simply drag and drop an email straight into an opportunity and it will create both a history note and store the email as a document so it's central and everyone can access it. We also have a print function where we can print this opportunity in multiple ways. So we can set up various mail merge templates, whether it be a quote or a welcome letter, uh, to come straight out of the system. We can pull through any of the information against the opportunity or the customer. Back on the main screen, you'll see that we can then search our customers. So if we wanted to do a simple lookup, we can just go in and search the database, drill down and view any information such as transaction history, account balances, or turnover snapshots in a graphical format. Within the contact management system, we can look up all of the contacts associated with this company and drill down further to see their personal or direct details. Within the contact system, we also have a concept called marketing classes. So against a particular person, we can set up a list of keywords and then tick off where they belong. So if I wanted to do an email out to all of our customers' accounts people to let them know that our address has changed, I can simply select them all from a list and do a bulk email straight out of the system because they've been categorized appropriately. This can be used for brochures and newsletters and all sorts of things. And if you want to remove someone from a mailing list, it's just a matter of coming back and unticking them. Over here in our stock area, we've got full stock search capability. So as a sales rep, if you wanted to drill down and find a particular item to check its availability or price, again, we can search our database live, drill down and view all the information about the stock item, of course, based on my permissions. So we do have some security around hiding cost prices and that sort of thing. But I can quickly see the prices, have a look at availability across our multiple warehouses, and again, go back and have a look at transaction history and any other information against the stock item. Moving along, you'll see we have dashboard or reporting functions. Again, these dashboard widgets can be set up and customized to your requirements and they can be laid out on your screen and refreshed every five minutes if you like. So for example, over here we have our top 10 customers by year to date sales value. I can have that running all the time and if a particular customer places a big order and they jump up onto the screen, I'll see that immediately. And also the, the same opportunity graph that we saw earlier, I can have that refreshing constantly as a sales manager. And if I notice a particular trend or too many opportunities staying stagnant in a particular wedge of my graph, I can take action immediately. The last area we'll have a look at is our sales budgets. Sales budgets allow us to set budgets, obviously per sales reps, but also go further and set them per customer or even per customer per product group or even for every individual product, depending on how many we've got. When I'm having a look at my reporting here, I can simply drag and drop my uh, fields and rearrange this graph the way that I like. So if we have a look here, I'm looking at all of my customers and month by month, I can see their actual sales, the budget and any variance. Then if I drill in further, it's then broken down by product group. 
and I can see how they're going against every product group versus budget and any variance. And if I've got it set up by item, I can even drill down further and see every single item that they've bought and how they've gone versus budget. If I want to flip that around, I can take my group and move it in front of my customer and then have a look at uh, budget versus actual performance by group across all customers and then drill down and see the customers below it. So you can see this screen is very user friendly and allows the end user or customer to actually drag and drop and rearrange it the way you like to get information in many different ways. We also have filtering so I can then say, right, well, let's see how Bridget performed and all the information is filtered down to just one particular sales rep. In summary, MYAB ExoCRM wraps up all of the key features into one easy to use, dynamic and fully integrated module, driving sales, increasing productivity and enabling unprecedented visibility of key sales data. Some of the benefits you can expect are reduced credits via accurate quoting, improved lead conversion rates, enforced accountability from your sales team and increased sales into your existing customer base. This all gives you that competitive edge that you've been striving for in tough market conditions.